Hey guys, we're back in the AK Test Kitchen today, and today we're gonna to be talking about portion control and consistency. You wanna count, weigh, or measure every one of your ingredients. Consistent pizza is a great pizza. We're gonna use a par-baked thin crust today. This is really nice because you always have the same food cost on something like this. It comes in pre-made, it's frozen, and it's ready to use. Same with our dough balls. You can pull those out and you know how much you're spending on each one of your bases for your pizzas. Now, if you're making your own dough or making your own crust from scratch, a lot of your ingredients vary. We're gonna start with this as a, a base today. And the next step, we're gonna do sauce. And for that, we like to use something we call a spoodle. They're a real nice happy medium between a spoon and a ladle. And what's cool about these is that you can scoop up your sauce, you shake it till it's level on top. You can scrape the bottom off on your sauce bowl. The bottom is flat, so you can smooth your sauce out just like a ladle or a spoon would. Everybody will use the same amount every time. Another tool, measuring cups. These work good for just about every topping. These are really nice because you have a handle, so you don't have to stick your hands in the big bin. You can just scoop out what you need, level it off, and that goes on your pizza. The last tool that everybody should have if you do not is a scale. A scale is gonna be used for your cheese. Uh, some people do it for like raw sausage. Anything that influences your food cost a lot, you really wanna weigh. At the end of the day, you really need to count, weigh, or measure. If you're not doing those, you're not gonna have a consistent pizza. People wanna come back because they want the same pizza they had last time. All right, now that you saw all the tools, we get to use those to make a pizza. We have the base here. We're gonna start with sauce first. I'm gonna use a four ounce spoodle, and I'm gonna use two of these because I like my pizza saucy. Then we just spread it around the pizza nice and even. Always remember, turn your pizza, not your body. And next is the cheese, which we're gonna use the scale. I normally shoot for about 10 ounces of cheese on a 16 inch. Doesn't matter, you just wanna make sure that every pizza that you make of that size will have the same amount of cheese. And this again, spread nice and even all over your pizza. You wanna cover up all that sauce. You don't want any of that showing, cause it'll burn. I know this doesn't look like a lot of cheese, but it'll fill in. It'll look beautiful when it's done. And the next part is the counting part. So we're gonna go with pepperoni on this one. Uh, you just wanna count so you know how much this pizza's gonna cost. And I normally shoot for about 50 pepperoni on a 16 inch pizza. You wanna have pepperoni in every bite, you want it all over. And I'm only speaking for a one topping pizza right now. So if I were doing a five topping pizza, I wouldn't be putting 50 pepperoni on. Once you have everything on there, cool part about this is that you know exactly how much this pizza costs you. You know what the customer is gonna get and they know what they're gonna get every time. Now, we're ready to go to the oven. 